Hello, fourth grade. Welcome back. Today we are going to look at our project based learning assignment again. This week we are continuing the animation of the life of a plant, and the goal is to create a program in Scratch that animates that whole life cycle. Today we are going to look at the animation of the seed germination of how the plant starts from a seed and sprouts up out of the ground. And we're going to continue this process in the next coming weeks as we grow our plant up all the way through to full blossom and then try some other things like changing water. So let's get started inside of Scratch. So once I have signed into Scratch, the goal is to create a new program. So we're going to click on create. There we go. And what I'm going to do is first title it Seed. And then I'm going to click Share. So you would definitely want to do that first so we don't have any issues with projects that are not being shared. So please do that first. Then I'm going to delete the cat. And I'm going to add in a new sprite, but this time instead of, whoops, let me go back to see inside. I'm going to add a new sprite, but instead of clicking on the little cat picture here on my right, you see that? I'm going to click on the paintbrush right there. And what that's going to do is going to give me a blank slate to draw on. So now I have my blank slate. And what I'm going to do is create my little animation of my seed. Now, a couple things in here that I want to show you is when you're doing your seed, you have a couple tools. We have these shapes and I can draw a shape and I can change the color of drawing my shape. And then if I want to get the color from a certain part of the screen, maybe I've already drawn some of the picture, I can click on this magnifying glass, this little eyedropper, and it'll let me pick a color that's already on the screen. So like if I hover over here, it'll move it over to the particular color. So that way if I'm switching back and forth from color to color, I can get the same color back as I do my animation. And then of course I have my eraser tool, and then I have my paintbrush tool that I can draw with, and I can change the size of my paintbrush. And then let's say I switch the color to something else. And then I say, oh wait, I want to get back to the same color that I had before and not this purple. So I'm going to click on the fill again and click on the eyedropper. And there's that magnifying glass and I can choose the color I want. You can see how it gets the circle around it. And now I'm back to the color that I wanted. So I can switch back and forth between those two colors pretty easily, which will be important when you do your animation. So let me erase all of this and let's get started making our seed. Okay, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a my sprite, and then I want to go ahead and draw a little circle. So I'm going to choose a nice green color here. Got a nice seed shape there. And now I'm going to use my paintbrush. Oh, one of the things I did there is I duplicated the um, seed. So that way I can show the seed as it progresses in the animation and without having to redraw everything. So I'm going to draw a little bit of my stem and I'm going to right click and duplicate again. And I'm going to draw a little bit more of my stem, my um, root. I'm going to do this really fast, speed this up a bit. I'm going to draw all these pictures, like 24 of them. Okay. 
And poof, I now have drawn 24 pictures of my little seed growing. I did that much faster than you will. But in all honesty, it took about five minutes to do the whole thing. So I don't think it'll take you all that long to draw your animation. So when I'm looking at this project here, I now have my little seed all done and I have all of these costumes. The next step is going to be to animate my seed project so I can actually see this whole thing grow. So we're going to do that in the code window. So you can see I have no code. So let's take a look at what code I should be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to events and I want when green flag clicked because I want this to happen on green flagged. And then the second thing is if I look at my costume here, it's like it's already grown. So I want to switch the costume back to the first costume. So I'm going to click on looks. I'm going to click on switch costume. And I want to go back to the costume number one. So I'm on costume number one. Then I want to switch costume every, let's say, quarter of a second. Because usually film moves at about a quarter of a second um, for the eye to see continuous film. And if you need to slow it down, you can slow it down. And to do that, I'm going to do a control. I'm going to do a repeat because I don't want to keep repeating forever. I want to change this number to the number of costumes. So if you look at your costumes, you can see and count all mine. There are 24 costumes. Since I'm already at costume one, I only want to repeat this 23 times. So I'm going to repeat it 23 times. And I'm going to change to the next costume. And I'm going to put in a weight of about point two five seconds. So when I run this, it happens it's fast, but not super, super fast that I can't see it. So let's give it a try. I'm going to hit the green flag and see if I can get it to work. And there we go. And you can see that we have now animated our seed. Now, other things you might want to do now is we want to maybe choose a backdrop and we could probably look for something that looks like a dirt backdrop or maybe you want to draw your own. Now, the other thing we could do is draw in our own background, which is I think what I want to do. So I'm going to take my background and again, I'm going to use this paintbrush and I'm going to draw in my own backdrop. So let me do that real quick. So one of the things I'm doing here is using a really thick brush. You can see I set the brush size to 100. That allows me to fill in this really nicely. So that'll be my ground. And I change the color to this nice blue. And I'm going to make this my sky. And you can see it's going right behind my plant. like that. And then maybe I want to do a nice yellow and do my sun. If I can find a nice yellow. Let me look for a nice yellow. So there's a nice yellow. Sometimes you have to play with all these controls like the brightness and the saturation and the color to get a nice yellow there. So I'm going to change the size of my line now. Oops, I got it down to like, let's say 10 and draw like the, you know, parts of the sun that make the sun. And there we go. So now I have my sun background and my dirt and I can see my seeds right here. So I can now click back on my sprite and you can move this if you need to move this around. And if you want to see what it looks like as a seed, you could just click on the costume one and it'll switch it back to costume one. So I can place my seed there and then let's see what it looks like when it grows and animates. And there we go. We have our seed animation. So the next thing for you to do is go into Google and submit the scratch assignment uh, using the Google assignment link. Uh, there is a, I'll post a video 
about how to do that again just in case you forgot how to do that it's listed in the faqs but we'll repost it again for this assignment i'll see you next time and i look forward to seeing your drawings <laughs>